When sizing your solar panels, there are two important metrics you need to take into consideration. Welcome to my channel. Before I continue, let me know where you're watching from. Just let me know where you're watching from, from the comment section. Now, the first um, uh, metric you need to take into consideration is the cell efficiency of the solar panel. What is the cell efficiency? The cell efficiency of a solar panel is the percentage of sunlight that the solar panel can convert into electricity. We have the monocrystalline solar panel and the polycrystalline solar panel. For the monocrystalline solar panel, the cell efficiency ranges from 15% to 22%. What this means is that if the solar panel receives sunlight, that is if the sun heats on the cells of the solar panel, if the cell efficiency of the solar panel is 22%, and the solar panel during the day receives sunlight. Uh, the cell, the 22% here means this solar panel will be able to convert 22% of the intensity of sun it receives during the day into electricity. That is the meaning of cell efficiency. Now, the cell efficiency of the solar panel is being affected or determined by, you know, the quality of the solar panel by you know the position that's how you that so the angle the solar panel is being installed you know shading temperature you know the quality of the solar panel these factors can affect the cell efficiency of a solar panel now these are the cells you can see them these are the cells of this uh, solar panel each of them during the day when the sun heats on them each of these cells will be able to convert that amount of sunlight into electricity. So if the cell efficiency is high, it means the solar panel will be able to generate high amount of energy during the day. If the cell efficiency of this solar panel is low, during the day when the solar panel receives sunlight, it will generate low amount of energy. Why? Because the cell efficiency is low. Because also the solar panel cells will not be able to convert uh, you know, a high amount of the sunlight it receives during the day into electricity. So when sizing your solar panel, you need to consider the cell efficiency of that solar panel. Now, solar panels with higher you know, cell efficiency, you know, their prices are different from the ones with um, a lower cell efficiency because of their converting uh, ratio or percentage. Now, the next one is the performance ratio of the solar panel. Now, ideally, if you look at the back of your solar panel, which we call the nameplate or the specification sheet of your solar panel, you will see what is written there P max, you will see VOC, which is the open circuit voltage, you will see the short circuit current ISC, you will see the maximum, uh, which is called VMP, the maximum power voltage. I am IMP, the maximum power current. All these uh, values are given to us by the manufacturer under an uh, under a laboratory test, under laboratory condition, where the irradiance of you know the beam of light that it, that is cast on the solar panel in the uh, laboratory is uh, one thousand one thousand watts per square meter. And the cell temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Then the air mass is 1.5. Now, these conditions are kept constant in the laboratory. They don't change. Now, if this solar panel is, you know, being taken uh, outside where it is being installed and it is exposed to the real world conditions, there is no way that the irradiance will be 1000 watts per square meter from uh, from 8 a.m to 5 p.m the the irradiance cannot be constant it fluctuates it may rise to 1000 it may come down to maybe 200 or 300 then the cell temperature also it is not constant the air mass is not constant so when this solar panel is being taken to experience the real world condition if the solar panel uh, uh, power rating is 200 watts there's no way this solar panel can generate 200 watts constant from 8 a.m to 
5 p.m. That is when the sun rises and when the sun sets. There is no way this solar panel constantly will generate 200 watts. It will be fluctuating. At times, it will generate 150 watts, at times 100 watts, at times even below 100 watts. Why? Because the, the irradiance is not constant. It is fluctuating. It may rise, it may fall. So because of these real world conditions that are not constant, the irradiance, the cell temperature, and the air mass, these things are not constant because, you know, um, uh, there are some factors that we cannot control. You cannot control the intensity of sunlight. Any day the sun decides not to shine, you cannot control it. Now, uh, uh, other factors that affect the solar panel uh, when it is being exposed to the real world condition is temperature, we have shading, we have dust cover, we have debris, we have cloudy days. These are things most times we cannot control. So because of these factors, because of these reasons, we need to factor in the performance ratio of this solar panel. If you check my previous um, videos on how to size a solar panel, I always use 65%, 65% or 0.65. I call it the performance ratio. It means if I have a 200 watt panel, that is a panel that is rated 200 watts, this solar panel will only be able to generate 65% of its rated capacity, of its rated wattage. So if I have a panel that is rated 600 watts, it can only generate 65% of that rated you know, wattage. Now, if the cell efficiency of the solar panel is high, the performance ratio of that solar panel will also be high, like the modern day panels you know, that we have. So some of them you can use you know, a performance ratio of 70%, 75%. But whenever you are sizing your solar panels, always take into consideration losses, losses. There are always losses. Never you think that if you have a 200 watts panel, and you install that 200 watts panel, it will be able to produce 200 watts of energy from uh, morning till evening. It is a very big lie. Why? Because these conditions are not constant. The, 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 the ratings, you, the specifications you are seeing at the back of that panel are called, the, those things are taken under what we call STC, standard test conditions. These con uh, tests are being carried out inside the laboratory where the solar panel is being exposed to these uh, 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 conditions, they are constant. The irradiance will be constant at 1,000 watt per square meter because a beam of light will be flashed on the solar panel. The set temperature is also kept constant because they are inside the laboratory. But when you bring out the solar panel, you take it, maybe it's being produced in China or in US, and you bring it down to Africa. The weather there or the conditions there, they are not the same like here. So you need to take into consideration all these factors so that your solar panel or yeah, your solar system will be able to give you the desired amount of energy uh, production that you need per day. So never you size a solar panel with the mind that if it is rated 500 watts, it will produce 500 watts all day from Monday to you know Sunday or from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The solar panel cannot give you that constant uh, production of power. There are fluctuations. At times, the power rate, the energy production may rise, it may drop, it may rise, it may drop. Why? The solar panel is being affected by these you know, factors. The irradiance, temperature, and you know, air mass. And also, it is being affected by shading, Although you can control this one, the shading either from trees, from projected buildings, or from chimneys. We also have dust. You can clean the solar panel. We have, uh, uh, you know, debris. We have bed droppings. You know, these are things that you can mitigate. You can try to control them. But things like the irradiance, the temperature, and the air mass, these are factors that are very difficult for you to control. Why? Because you don't have the power to control the irradiance. You don't have the power to control the amount of sunshine that you know will shine per day, the amount of sunshine the earth will receive per day, the amount of temperature in your area per day. These are things you cannot control. They're only controlled by you know, God. So at all times when sizing your solar panel, take this into consideration. Cell efficiency performance ratio. Remember, the cell efficiency is the percentage of sunlight that the solar cells 
within the solar panel can convert into electricity. The performance ratio talks about the ideal, the ideal or the real world situation or performance of a solar panel as compared to the laboratory performance of that solar panel. When it is manufactured in the laboratory, it is, uh, uh, it is being, uh, it is rated 200 watts because these things, they are in the laboratory. But outside, you know, uh, where you take it to the real world situation, you know, you cannot have these things. So size your panel appropriately to give you the desired amount of energy you need to, you know, run your loads. Once again, thank you for watching and let me know where you are watching from. Remain blessed.